today, we're going to stop and visit the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint. We found this place the last time we were down this area, just kind of on a fluke looking for something to eat that was close off the interstate. Uh, have since then seen it on TV, and, you know, one of those food shows where they travel across the country. The food was amazing, of course, in the name they have barbecue, uh, brisket, chicken, potato salad, mac salad, whole nine. Very tasty, unique little spot. So we're camping now and we're about 50 to a, 50 minutes to an hour away. So we decided we'd make the trip today, grab some lunch, and try to get you a little bit of video. While we're here, of course, it's decided to rain, so that might affect the way it works, but it's right next to a campground and they're in the same little hole and it doesn't look like much pulling in which is kind of what it's supposed to be, that's the name The Shed. The time we came it was much smaller, they added on since then, but uh, anyway, we're gonna try to take the camera in and get some pictures and I'm show you what it's all about. First alert weather has detected heavy just going to try to give you all a quick glance through. You can kind of see the theme. It looks like something you'd find in the back of your drum hall shed. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Nothing fancy, but pretty cool. Last time we stopped on our way through. And then since we found it, we ended up stopping on our way back. So here we go. We're going to get inside out of the rain not the best day for this type of activity. Check out the store. So the fellow that waited on us was nice enough to tell us to sneak out here. This area is currently closed, but they're building their new bar area out here. They're working on a new stage. So this is the Shed Head Sampler. So it's a sampling of all their meats and three sides. Yum. We got the mac and cheese, the collards, and grandma's beans. Does this place look familiar? Have you been here before? If so, please comment below. We want to know what was the best part about your visit and what did you eat when you got fed at the shed? Down there is some outdoor seating if you didn't want to sit inside. It's like a little play area for the kids when it's not pouring down rain. When we were here the last time, there was a dock or a, yeah, I guess a little stage that floated in this water right here. And they would play music and the seating was this area. And there was a huge like wedding tent or event tent over top of it. And the restrooms were where that container is and they were nothing more than porta johns which were kept very clean. But nonetheless, things have changed a little bit since we were here before. So if you notice, when Jimmy opens this door, they have the handy little uh, weight, which is an old cast iron skillet that rolls the door back shut. Let's take a quick peek inside. This is kind of the waiting area in the middle. Uh, we're going to look real quick here in the family restroom and just check out the vibe. And then we'll go next door to the men's room, see the deer head hanging there of course for the men and then we're gonna slide on over here to the women's room 
I do realize that the restroom's probably not the place you necessarily want to see when you're checking out a restaurant, but with the whole atmosphere going on here at the shed, it just seemed appropriate to check it all out. Oh, it see? did it. Vocal command on awesome. the GoPro. That's the new eight. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't Yeah, sometimes work. it won't talk to you. It just does its own thing. So we're having a sort of a reunion of sorts. We Absolutely. don't know when y'all showed up, but it was right after the fire. So it was a long time which, ago. Which uh, is like 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. Yeah. The fire happened in 2011. So, and behind the new GoPro, the new GoPro <laughs> talking about all the stuff that we had out there. Um, which was a covered area. We had portalettes. So it was still, we went over to portalettes. If you had to go, man. But they were clean. They, they were, were clean over hey, here. Hey, we, we did. We, we checked we them. Very clean. More, they were yeah. cleaner than some of the bathrooms we We even seen. had lights in there. So Fancy. little battery powered lights. <laughs> but since then, so we we built this porch that we're standing on, and we had bathrooms right behind us. And yeah. then the county came in and said, "Hey, you need a permit to do all that." So That'd they. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, so y'all remember a uh, bunch of covered area. Same. It had the same spray insulation. Um, so what we had to do is we had to pick up our bathrooms and tear down a bunch of the covered area. But then since then we moved actually into and put all our pits back into the kitchen. Uh, we still have the same stage area. Still music Friday and Saturday. There nights. was music out on the. I don't yeah, you had like the floating dock or whatever. Yeah, we had the floating. There. So that is, see those shed quarters over there? So we okay. actually built a houseboat on that now. Awesome. Um, but yeah, we've been still having fun. I'm glad to have y'all back. Love it. We're there, glad there, to be here. Gotta There's get fed one. at the is there shed. More than one? We had like six at one time, but we're right where we want to be with the one and only. The shed. The shed. And you picked a rainy day too. It always rains here. Right? So, it might have rained last time. So next weekend, sorry to date the video, but That's fine. It's okay. next weekend uh, we have uh, our steak competition and we have 200 competitors. He read that online. That's so and cool. It's uh, it's going to be crazy. So imagine 200 competitors, trailers and cookers. Some people just have 10 by 10 tents, you know, and one grill. Some people have all. Sometimes the other ones going to win. Oh yeah, oh, totally. So again, this is where all the action was the last time we were here. As you can see, it's changed a little bit. And apparently next weekend, 200 people will commence to a lot of cooking steaks here. For a 20 plus thousand prize and some other prizes and no, giveaways. I think this is where we sat last time, right here. Yeah, like this is where it was. It was a covered area and bathrooms were over here where the crawfish shack out back now lives. And there was a floating stage a out here in this water. Mm. Oh, there is some crocodiles in there. Yeah, there's a sign over there that says so. It says, no feeding the alligators or birds, please. Pretty cool place. So if you're ever in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, remember, stop by and get fed at the shed. You won't be disappointed.